Hi, and welcome to How Tech Tutorials. In this video, we will show you how to use Microsoft Word for desktop publishing. Desktop publishing is basically creating printable publications, either pamphlets, brochures, and even business cards. Microsoft Word provides a number of tools through which you can easily create such documents. We will be primarily using styling and formatting to align text and artwork evenly throughout the page. Let's start with the header and footer. Over here, we will be adding a table in the header with one row and two columns. On the left side, we will copy and paste the logo. And in the second column, let's just add the tagline. We can use the font section to increase the font size. Now let's remove the borders from this table. For the footer, we will insert a rectangle shape and change the color to black while removing the outlines. Now let's paste random text here. To show text in multiple columns, select the text, move to the layout section, and from the columns drop down menu, let's select the more columns option. From here, you can increase the number of columns and even add a line between each column. Let's enable the paragraph marks to understand where the column break is to separate columns in a better way. For example, Let's start each new paragraph in a new column. So let's place the cursor here and insert a column break. Similarly, let's do the same for the third paragraph as well. All the formatting options available in Word can be used here to create your document, from font styling to document layout. For example, from the Layout tab, let's reduce the margins in 0.5 inches. Over here, we have another example where we have used shapes to create a banner for our single page brochure. We have added a square rectangle and from the format shape option, we have added a picture in the shape. On top of that, we have added text which you can do by simply double clicking on the shape. Similarly, below we have created a three column table with no borders, text in the first column and shapes in the remaining two. You can press the Control P shortcut on your keyboard to see the preview of how the document would look like once printed. Make sure to use the correct paper size here, according to the document you are making. Also, if you are printing images, make sure to move the printer properties and change print quality to best. That's all. Would you like to know more about any specific word feature? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.